I completely forgot about my favorite ending, and I can't wait to see it in this version. It probably won't be nearly as nauseating. Press the little hidden button, and it carries us away. Okay, no, that's still pretty... Did it just crash my game? What's up guys and welcome back to Please Don't Touch Anything. And for today's episode, I'm gonna finish the game. Okay, we're about halfway through right now. We have something like 13 endings left and I think I can find them. I'm really curious what happens if you find all of the panels, all of the clues, all of the solutions, just everything, 100% the game. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And we're gonna start off with a little more information that I noticed in our instruction panel. If we put in our Roman numerals, we should be able to switch this to the left. There we go, okay. And then we have 8367, which opens up this panel, right. And we didn't do anything with this one last time, but I remembered that these are out of order. One, two, four, three. So if we put in one, two, four, three, we get ourselves an ending. Black hole right in the middle of the city. All because of a wrong phone number. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure we can use that panel to get another ending. And this was one of the ones that I don't remember if we've used it before when I played the VR version of this, but I'm fairly certain that this is one of the coolest clues that we have in the game. So for step four, technically labeled three, we have 1, 11, 21, blank, 111,221, and 312,211. And figuring that out took me a long freaking time. But the way that it works is it's a spoken equation, I think it's called. So you start off with one. And if I was gonna tell you how to write that, I would tell you to write one, one, hence 11. And if I was gonna tell you to write 11, I would tell you to write down two ones, hence 21. So if I was gonna tell you to write down 21, it would be one, two, and one, one. Right, okay, so now we have the little music symbol. And if I stopped talking, we may be able to hear what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so it's... Yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> it can be really hard to decipher, but... We got it, no more dinosaurs. Something else that's different about this version that I noticed is that the instruction sign has these directional arrows now. And we used them last time with the green buttons. I think it gave us a full ending already. Right, up left, up right, up right, up left. But then below it, I couldn't figure out what these weird like upside down, I keep thinking it's Russian, but it's never Russian. It's just either different letters or in this case, upside down. So if it's correct, upside down, then I would need to flip this over. Do I need to rotate it or just flip it? So would I do this? No, so it would be this. Yeah, there we go, okay. So we still have D4, which is a completely different ending, I'm pretty sure, and we have U. So if I hold down on U, oh, you're gonna make me click? Why? Well, lucky for us, whoever normally runs this machine, I guess Steve's arm was kind enough to engrave the answer onto the panel. So if we put in 276 and then boop, there we go. Which one was this again? Ooh, oh, it's the plant ending, the green ending. I'd never actually thought of that. Like, what is this machine used for? If it is run by Steve, where are we? Why would this exist? Like, I, I really hope that they make another version of this game. If they make a Please Don't Touch Anything 2 where it gets expanded on, because this game in any version, 3D, VR, this you know, 16, 32-bit, whatever you want to call it, it's just awesome. It is such a cool little game, and it's so simple. Like, there's nothing overly complex about it. It's just difficult to figure out at times. So there was something else there as well. If we do 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, and... 
this. There we go, okay, so we can put in 66. Six. Oh, I gotta click up to 666, six, six. are you kidding me? You never realize how many clicks 666 clicks are until you have to do it. Oh yeah, you like that machine, don't you? With the two fingers just getting blasted as fast as I can. Yeah, I think we're definitely getting somewhere. We got two red sixes. I'm gonna guess we have three red sixes. Don't overdo it. There we go. Okay, 666. Oh. That's different. Wasn't 666 the one where the lady appears behind me? So now we have all the symbols? I'm not prepared for- Oh, no, I have to figure this out right now. I am not clicking another 666 times, okay? Which symbols were the important ones? We saw this last time. I think it was the double wave, the key, the eye, and the hourglass. So if we click on everything except for those, will that please you? Oh, I know, wait, hourglass. Okay, hold on, let's, uh... Just do something like that. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, uh, why does it have the terrifying death symbol for the happy little... Oh, you know what? You guys actually commented saying that the buildings were possessed. And even though they look all happy and stuff, it is very demonic. Same with the clouds, now that I notice, which makes Mario seem terrifying. I am so happy that we took note of that at the end of last episode. It was the very last thing that I mentioned, was those four symbols in the corners. Whew, okay, so what else is there that we haven't done? Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot about my favorite ending, and I can't wait to see it in this version. It probably won't be nearly as nauseating. Press the little hidden button, and it carries us away. Okay, no, that's still pretty. Did it just crash my game? It did crash my game. I got the achievement for unlocking it, and I got the photo, but I didn't get to see the ending. Oh, you can't hide from me, Illuminati. I'm coming back. You didn't crash my recording, right? No, I think the recording is fine. So we're just gonna, there we go. Please don't do that again. Maybe it's supposed to do that? That would be really creepy if it's supposed to do that. Like, you can't find the Illuminati. We got the symbols in the corners again. And it closed my game again. Wow! So the Illuminati does not appreciate being seen. And as soon as the all-seeing eye sees me, the game just goes kaput. Pretty cool, I guess. Um, I think we can also use the screwdriver for something, right? I hadn't thought of this last time, but if I take the screwdriver and I screw with it, it... Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. So we have a whole bunch of numbers that we can put in down there. And we have a panel to put in numbers. What do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. Um... I don't remember where those are. I can't get the black light again. We didn't see anything with the black light, though. So, hold, hold on, what's new? What haven't we used yet? Because, oh, right, underneath this, right? We saw that there was, um... These aren't numbers, though. Sano Leonardo. I don't know what that would mean. Wait, Leonardo, like, Leonardo da Vinci? I don't know if, no, that wouldn't be his first. Sano Leonardo? I'm trying to think back of what we saw. Like, it, it, it is an advantage to have played the VR version because I do remember some things about it. And I've also talked with you guys about it a lot. And I'm pretty sure the numbers that we had seen were the golden ratio, right? It was drawn on the board behind us. But I can't remember what that ratio is. It was like uh, zero, zero, one, two, oh God, uh, five, Eight, not I don't remember it. Ten... Two, no, I don't know. I don't think this is technically cheating because they gave me a clue, right? That clue has to be used to find these numbers. So the golden ratio is 011, 23, 
five eight thirteen. I was kind of close. So zero one one two three five eight thirteen. That sounds very familiar. There we go. Okay. And that's oh right. That's the Cthulhu ending. Ooh yeah. This city is just having a bad day. Probably an Amish city, I would assume, because as soon as I hit the restart button, the, the burns are raised, everything is fine. Which just raises even further questions about this machine. Maybe none of this is actually happening. Maybe it's just a simulation, right? How could I hit restart and everything just instantly goes back to normal after summoning a giant demon squid? So where else did we have things hidden? I'm just gonna open up some panels to see if we can find any clues because I'm starting to run dry on what I remember. This going to the right is binary and the black light, which I don't really need. I think the left opens up way more. So we have 8367. We have uh, 8232. Okay. And Boob didn't do anything, did it? No, Boob isn't a part of this one. Okay, and we can get our screwdriver and open up the colors. I'm unlocking most of this, right? I feel like we have a whole lot of stuff unlocked. I can even do this again if I really wanted to. There we go. It's a very full looking panel. So we have binary here, the black light is here. I don't think this opens. Oh no, wait, that was the diamond and stuff. So how did we... Oh, wait a minute. Aha! There we go. Okay, so... How does this work without a clock? Right, I don't have a clock to screw with. So, we have B, D1, D7, blank 4, and something missing. And we had D4 here. Uh, so if I do... Oh, crap. Uh, this... There we go, okay, D4. So D4 would open up and do something here, I guess. D4, oh, it has something to do with this, right? It wanted um, wanted a diamond, I think? D4, then and then and there and there? Yeah, there we go, okay. So the diamond gives us a diamond. We don't know how to get into this, though. Was it the color? Oh, right, the black light. Okay, hold on, we need to get the black light really quick. We open up our colors again, and we head over to the black light. This should indicate it's red times four. Okay, so that's different. So now if we go all the way back, like usually I edit a lot of this stuff out, but at the same time, I know people watch because they wanna see how it all goes together. It's not so much the destination, it's the journey, as corny as that may be. So if we get all of this open, and I'm gonna get my screwdriver again. I'm gonna get ourselves some colors. And we should be able to hit red four times. Oh. That didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. Huh. That's not what I wanted. Crap! So how do I get this open again? Are there any more colors around for me? <laughs> Maybe if I put in the diamond? Yeah, we get the diamond. Hmm. I've been sitting here looking at this for a few minutes, and I've noticed something interesting about these clocks. Like, not only do they seem to be keeping relatively accurate time, but when they click up to midnight, they go green, and then they're gone. So... Can I, I can't switch them to midnight myself. I don't suppose I can change my in-game clock to midnight, can I? I'm gonna screw with my computer. Hold on, this might be a massive mistake, but I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, I hate doing this. Um, if I make you 11.59, how about that? Whoa, whoa. Did that just work? That just worked. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw that. You see? It was tracking accurate time. Like I said, it was at the current time that I'm recording. So now we're at near midnight because I put in 11.59.30. We have to wait 30 seconds for this to come around and then it should spit something out of interest for me. Come on. You got for me. Something, oh. Uh, oh, yes. Got it. 
Maybe. I can't pick it up. It's so small. Come on. <laughs> okay, we have a code. The code needs to... Oh, crap. No. Maybe it's not binary? Right? I think it's... You, you read it from the bottom up. Is it 311121? 311121. Yeah! <laughs> okay, this version is way more hands on and way more in depth. I mean, I guess when you're in VR, you can't screw with your computer or have the program crash or something like that, but I would have never thought of that if I didn't notice that it was the current time on my clock. Like, I'm playing in a window that's like this big on my monitor. It's not a very big game, but that is super interesting. What is this? What? I didn't do anything again. Sometimes it just spits endings at you. Okay. Click boom. Press button to drop. Oh, not this. Oh, man. I'm bad at this game. It is really difficult. We just need to nuke everything, right? We're just uh, gonna carpet bomb. Sometimes it gives you four. Sometimes it gives you three. Oh, this is quite a bit easier when you don't have a stupid headset strapped to your face. But I need to make sure not to fly into these buildings. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta get the further ones. Further ones. Eh. Here we go. I only get one chance at this. I'm not gonna be trying this multiple times. Good, good. Nice scorched earth policy. Leave nothing behind. I should have gotten that far one. Okay, I need, I need to get it. Got it. Okay, good. Last pass. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Please don't fly into it. Please don't fly into it. We good? Okay. I just had to clear the city, level everything, to find a place to land. You, you drop all bomb, but the Y, the R, the B, and the B are funny. So yellow, red, blue, blue, take note of that. Okay, very good. Got an ending. Oh, I got a sticker. Cool. All right, so let's see what happens if we open you up and we decide to go with Yellow, red, blue, blue. That's what we were missing. Okay, now we're talking. So I should be able to open all of this up now, right? I think it was this and this and eight, two, three, seven. No, uh, eight, three, six, seven. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> we gotta put in the diamond. We have the diamond. We have this. How do we open this again? Ah, oh, crap. What did you want from me? We have one, two, three, four, five endings left. Technically four, right? I think one ending will be the grand finale. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. We did have the little frowny face there. And we also have something on the hammer, the smiley face doesn't help me at all. Um, are there any more numbers or anything? We need to split these wings. There's gotta be something else here. Correct is good. Um, can't use any of those. Oh. If 42. 42? 4242? Four, two, four, two? No, 4242. Four, two. That's interesting. We haven't seen that before either. Oh, maybe it's 420... 4200? No? Hmm... Maybe 2400? There has to be a way to split up these wings. I, that has to be a number, right? That's super obvious. What if it was 4020? There we go. <laughs> that took me way too long to figure out. God, I'm just out to lunch. Okay, we can put the diamond in there. Then we get the button. Is that it? Oh, there was an ending. Okay. I thought we had more to, to do. Yeah, no more planes. Planes be gone. We're now worms here. The last few endings are always the most difficult because you don't remember what you've used and what you haven't used and what you've found and haven't found. And I had to go back and watch last episode just to realize that I didn't figure out these stupid little invisible buttons. I don't know how. It's so easy. It was one of the most obvious ones that I had found last time. Where are you, little invisible button? There we go. Another one there and then over here somewhere. 
going up and then down. Oh, that was why. Because I absolutely hate these games. <laughs> the ones where you need to light everything up and it's freaking impossible. When in doubt, just guess a whole lot until you finally get it. <laughs> yeah, sure, that works. I just split the world in half completely by accident guessing. Yeah, stupid little minigame, but we ended up getting there. What do I get for that? Didn't we already do you? I thought we had already done this. I'm losing my mind right now. I could have sworn we had this ending last time. This is the Stanley. Yeah, it is, because I asked you guys if you wanted to see me do a playthrough of this game, and so many people said yes that I probably will at some point. So why do I have it again? Oh my god, there's so many buttons. Maybe it just gives it to you every now and then for no reason? You got the job, and then it just cuts out. Okay, oh, no, I don't think that gave me an ending. I think it just pops up every now and then, right? Yeah, I did already have it. Good segue for me to mention the fact that I got the message. I probably will check out the game. I think it'll be really cool. I don't know when, but at some point. So we got a little badge for splitting up the world, and now we only have three endings left. Things get more difficult. I'm starting to see a trend with this version of the game where they don't necessarily give you all of the tools that you need. Like you have to go find them elsewhere. For instance, the clock and uh, the Fibonacci sequence and all that kind of stuff and Morse code, right? We had used Morse, which I am an idiot. This entire time when I saw Morse here, I thought it was indicating these, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why, why would this have anything to do with Morse code? But it's pointing towards this and this, right? What would it be underneath? D-O-T, but if we move you, we have no. Nothing on the underside. So, if we find out what D-O-T in Morse code is... So we have dot, dash, dash, dot, 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 dot. So we've got dot, dash, uh, dash, dot, 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 dot. There we go, okay. <laughs> this would have been so much more difficult if I hadn't played the other version first. Because you just, you would never think to guess that, right? Why would you think, okay, I'm gonna go find Morse code somewhere? But I like it. I, I like the fact that this game is super challenging and we flooded the city. We got the ocean one. So we have two endings left. What else am I missing? What other things have they not given me? Oh, I'm trying to think of either clues or what the picture could be. Okay, let's go back to the black light. Two, two, three, one. Because we haven't done a whole lot with that yet. I didn't look around too much with it. All this looks pretty well the same, right? No, you know what? There is some new stuff here. We have a sun. Zero to 23, one to four, two to one. And then somebody seems to have smeared it, I suppose. Okay, and we still have these numbers. Four, five, three, nine, 16, eight, five, 18, nine, 14, seven. Still have no idea what any of that means. Uh, forward and backwards in time. Oh. We have the solar system. That's not pointing to Earth though, right? That's, um, would that be one, two? Oh, it's the, the most exterior one. That'd be Pluto. So, okay, we have Pluto. We have a bunch of numbers here, we have a bunch of numbers there. Not really giving me any indications, some more symbols, Pac-Man, great, great. Yep, that, that's super, super helpful. Anything, oh! I got an achievement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The achievement is 5552368. What? What? Right, right, write that down. Write that down. 5552368 seems like the kind of thing that we could put into this, right? I'm pretty sure that would work. I think we put it into a phone last time, but we don't have a phone now, as far as I can tell. Maybe we should keep an eye out for a phone. Okay, uh, what was it? 555. Two, three, six, eight. Oh, it's not enough. So where does this number go? <laughs> okay, so we have 
a lot of random numbers now, and, and this is the last ending. This has to be it. So I found the weird little ghost skull that gave me a number, and we found all of that. Where would this go? I think I've got it figured out. The numbers that we just saw here were indicating 2001 being the year that we had seen, and now we should be able to put in the planet, which was Pluto, P-L-U-T-O. There we go, okay, and then we get the key which goes in here, and how did we open that again? Um, crap. Oh, I'm so frazzled right now. So, little behind the scenes, there is currently a massive fire outside my house. The whole woods is on fire. There are just fire department people all over the place, and I still kind of want to get this ending. I don't think we need to evacuate quite yet, but you'll find out later on Twitter if I did. Follow me on Twitter. Shameless plug. It was hitting red four times, that's what it was. Red, 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 red like fire, there we go. Okay, we're gonna drop you in there, and we're gonna ship off into weird baby space. Was that what it was? Yeah. Weird fetus baby space. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, Steve's back, hey man, man. I need to take a bathroom for a break. Stay here for a moment. Wait, what? What's this panel for? Oh, don't bother. It's just a coffee machine. Why is it so strange? I don't know. It just appeared here one day. Sometimes it shows ads on the screen. You can order some coffee while I'm gone. There's the red button. Okay, but don't take too long. And that's it! We have our coffee, we have all of our endings, and you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Please Don't Touch Anything, guys. And I didn't really want to have to rush through the ending like this. It is kind of cool to see again, but like I said, strenuous circumstances. Gonna try my best not to lose everything that I own right now. So wish me luck. If this video gets edited and put up today, then uh, things probably went well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. DJ!